Good afternoon, folks. This is Deb Delapiana, and this is your short take. And I'm here to tell you today why some of us are not going to be celebrating the 4th of July. So the 4th of July celebration, as I understand it, is a day for us to celebrate being independent from oppressive rule. Well, I'm sorry, but as a lesbian American woman with a transgender child, I'm just not in the mood to celebrate this year. I'm going to tell you why. Because the only people who are truly free in this country right now as it stands are cisgendered straight white men. And I have a problem with that. And you should too. So before I go on, I just have to say that someone made the comment to me today that, well, they did, you know, we did, you know, protect same-sex marriage. Yes, we did. But let me just remind everyone, that was in 2022. It passed the Senate in November of 2022. It passed the House in December of 2022. And the only reason it passed the House at all was because that was before the new House was sworn in. So if you think the current composition of the House, which went from 147 seditionists before the midterms to 170 after the midterms, if you think that they would have ever have passed a bill to protect same-sex marriage, you're out of your ever loving mind. They would not have. That was passed on the strength of the Democratic Party majority in the House. That is now gone. Thank you, Democratic Party voters who didn't bother to goddamn vote. Okay? We can thank them. So let me get back to my, my subject matter here. We have a country that has overturned Roe v. Wade. We have a legislature and a group of politicians who supported Donald Trump stacking the court with the specific intent of overturning Roe v. Wade. This came right out of his mouth while he was campaigning. There are videos out there of him saying this. Go look for them. They're all over YouTube, okay? Everybody knew what he was doing, and everybody got behind him and helped him out. 50 years of precedent down the drain because they managed to give one president the ability to appoint three justices, and those justices were Kavanaugh, Gorsuch, and Barrett. Kavanaugh should never have been approved. We now know that there were plenty of allegations against him that got hidden by Donald Trump in the White House. And ladies, they're not done yet. You may be out of childbearing years, but you know something? You have got to at least know some people who aren't. You have to know that some children aren't, that are children of your friends, people you must know. For you to turn your back on those people because you think you're safe, that's pathetic. You're not safe, by the way. There are people out there talking about whether women should even have the right to vote. There are people out there saying, men out there saying, that this country went down the tubes when the women got the right to vote. What makes you think they won't come after that? They're coming after your birth control pills. They're coming after your abortion pills. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. You're not done being oppressed. As far as transgender people are concerned, in some states, the government, with their oppressive transgender laws against medical care, they are literally taking decisions about health care out of the hands of parents and putting it into the government's realm. The government has no business being in your health care. And you know what? If you have a problem with that, shame on you. It's none of your business what people do with their children. Take care of your own goddamn family and mind your business. This would be a better place if people would just mind their fucking business. In some states, like Oklahoma, they have outlawed transgender care for adults. They're trying to wipe out people, folks. They're trying to wipe out and demonize one group of people. It's got all the earmarks of Nazi Germany on it. All of them. In states across this nation, they have passed 
gerrymandering, redistricted sections that are totally racist now, taking the vote out of the hands of people of color instead of passing the Voting Rights Act, which they couldn't even do when we had a majority. Because why? Because the Senate get in the way and pulled the filibuster. We haven't passed the Voting Rights Act yet. Instead of expanding people's ability to vote for how they should be governed, we are oppressing people in certain states. Now, I get, I get that the Supreme Court just voted that Alabama, Louisiana, and North Carolina must redistrict. I get that. That's three states. In the meantime, there are laws standing in other states like Florida. And the only way those things will get overturned is if they're challenged to the Supreme Court. And guess what? The Supreme Court is out of session right now, thankfully, because they left a mess behind. By the way, the same people who overturned those redistricting decisions are the same people who killed affirmative action. Because why? There's no racism in America now? Well, you know what? There's no racism if you're a candidate named Tim Scott who tells people all day long that there's no racism in America. You want to know why there's no racism for him? Because he's an elite. Various magazines put his wealth at between 22 million and 35 million. Tim Scott's an Uncle Tom. There's no racism for Tim Scott, the black man, but there's plenty of racism for Joe Smith, the black man who works an hourly job. Candace Owen. Candace Owen tells people there's no racism in America because guess what? Candace Owens went to Europe, married the son of a right-wing politician, came back here and is now charging you money so she can peddle her bullshit and fill your head up with garbage. You're not Candace Owen. There's plenty of racism here. But they killed affirmative action, even though Clarence Thomas got his college education based on affirmative action. Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing to celebrate this year. We should all be working hard to eliminate the problems in this country that create this vacuum between who is free and who isn't. Instead of going out and watching fireworks, listen to the Boston Pops waving the American flag. We all should be galvanized to get out there and get as many people to the polls as possible because the only way this changes, and by the way, the only way we reform the Supreme Court in this country at any time is with a two-thirds Senate majority. You want to remove Clarence Thomas? You want to know what that takes? That takes an investigation, and then it takes a trial, and then it takes two-thirds of the Senate or 67 votes to remove him. Same thing with any of the others you want to remove. You want to remove Alito because he's corrupt, and he is, because he also went on junkets from the wealthy. Same situation, an investigation, a trial, and 67 votes in the Senate. We have a two-seat majority in the Senate. And if you think anybody in the Senate on the Republican side is going to cross the aisle to see these people removed after they backed stacking the court, you're crazy and you're delusional and you're living in an alternate reality. There is only one way out of this mess. All change, all improvement, it all comes from your vote. You can give all the money you want to all the groups you want to push for progress. But unless you vote out the GOP, there is nothing to celebrate here. I will talk to you all later.